July 30th, St. Germanus. Born of a noble Gaelic family, he studied general topics in Arles and Lyon in France and rhetoric and civil law in Rome. He was a successful lawyer for several years. Then he married his wife, a member of the nobility with close ties to the emperor. He was then made imperial governor of part of Gaul. He led a worldly life and frequently hung hunting trophies on an enormous ancient tree that had been an object of worship by local pagans. This led to condemnation by St. Amator, who said he set a terrible example and was leading people back to their pagan origins. Germanus ignored him, so Amator cut down the tree and burned the trophies. Germanus tracked down Amator, intending to kill him, but St. Amator forced a tonsure on Germain and made him a deacon and told him to live as one destined to be a bishop. Germanus took the whole incident to be an action of the Holy Ghost and changed completely. He devoted himself to prayer, study, and charity. When St. Amator died soon after, Germain was unanimously chosen Bishop of Oxer. His administrative skill served him well in his new position. He gave away his property to the poor and lived as a pauper. He converted and trained St. Camilla. He was sent by Pope Celestine I, along with St. Lupus, to the British Isles. There he fought the Pelagianist heresy in Britain, while in route he met the young child St. Genevieve, and one early document says that St. Patrick was part of his entourage. Once the Pelagians were in retreat, Germanus traveled to Britain, preaching and setting up seminaries. He returned to France, where he obtained tax relief for the people of his diocese and built the church of St. Albain. In the year 447, he returned to Britain with Cerverus, where they evangelized Wales and helped the Britons with a battle over the invading Saxons and Picts. When he returned to Gaul, he found that the Armoricans in Brittany were going to be severely punished for a rebellion against the empire. He obtained a stay of execution for them until he could appeal to the emperor. In Ravenna, Italy, he met with St. Peter Christologus, pleaded his case to Empress Gala Placidia, and obtained pardon for the people. He died there a short time later of natural causes.